I'm Dr. Annette from St. Michael Penafang Hospital. Today, we will be discussing about a topic which is towards a pandemic resilient community through science. Science plays an important role in overcoming pandemic and knowing the root causes of the disease. Joining me today is Dr. Sean, who is a specialist in pathology. Hello. And also Dr. Aldrich, an immunologist. From a pathologist's point of view, what are your thoughts on this topic, Dr. Sean? Thank you, Dr. Annette. As a pathologist, I study the causes or effects of disease or injury. It is the bridge between science and medicine. Pathology is primary because they do autopsies to find symptoms, sources and effects. By knowing the causes and effects, you can narrow down the suspected patients easily. A pathologist also plays a critical role in research advancing medicine and devising a new treatment to fight against viruses, infections and diseases. Pathologists also play an important role in the range of research, from investigating the effects of new drugs in clinical trials to profiling the behavior of viruses and bacteria. Well, thank you, Dr. Sean. Now moving on to Dr. Aldrich on his sharing from an immunologist's point of view. Over to you. Thank you, Dr. Annette. So first of all, immunology is the study of immune system of all organisms. There are many ways to stop an epidemic from spreading. You can do this through herd immunity. Herd immunity is the basic principle that is used in combating epidemics from spreading to pandemics. It occurs when a significant proportion of the population or the herd have been vaccinated or are immune by some other mechanism, resulting in protection of susceptible individuals. When a part of the population is vaccinated, the immune system is strengthened. This protects them from particular disease that is affecting the population. So how can we achieve this? We'll have to vaccinate enough of the herd to reach the herd immunity threshold. This is so that the infectious disease does not propagate easily and becomes more stable in that specific community. Thank you to all our panels. So in conclusion, we as a civilian can also build a community that is resilient to infectious diseases. We can strengthen our immune system and prevent the spreading of the disease by doing some things by ourselves. For example, we should avoid from smoking and drinking less alcohol so that we do not put more burden on our immune system. After that, we should also sleep well so that our body can rest and in turn strengthen our immune system. Finally, we should be eating a balanced diet to get all the necessary nutrients and taking regular moderate exercise.